If you like to print images, it can be useful for you to have a basic understanding of what image resolution means in Photoshop and how to change the resolution of an image to prepare it for print. That's done in the Image Size dialog box. If you're following along, let's open this image that you'll find in the practice files for this tutorial. And then go up to the Image menu and choose Image Size. In the Image Size dialog box, you can see the dimensions of this image reported in pixels. When an image is still on your computer, that's how we measure its size in pixels. But if we were to print this image, we would measure the size of the print in inches, not pixels. Down here in the resolution field, you can see the resolution that's currently set for this image. It's 100. There's nothing special about a resolution of 100. It's just a round number that I picked when I set up the file for this lesson. Now, what does resolution mean here? Well, if you read across this line from left to right, you may get a sense of it. This is telling us that resolution is a particular number of pixels per inch. In this case, 100 pixels per inch. Another way to say that is that if and when you print this image, 100 pixels out of the total 1800 across and the total 1200 down will be assigned to every printed inch horizontally and vertically. Now, if you don't like math problems, you can skip the next part. But if you like to think of this in terms of math, here's a simple example. So the math problem is divide 1800 by 100 and you get 18. That means that at a resolution of 100 pixels per inch, this file will print at 18 inches across. And it works the same way vertically. If we divide the total 1,200 pixels of height into groups of 100, that gives you 12 groups or 12 inches. So the height of the printed image will be 12 inches. So if you understand that basic concept, now you're probably wondering, well, what's the best number to put in the resolution field when you're preparing an image for print? Unfortunately, there's no one answer because that depends on what printer you're using. But assuming you're printing at home on a typical inkjet printer, it's fair to say that a resolution of about 300 pixels per inch will do. If I were to print the image with only 100 pixels per inch, it might look okay, but if you got really close to it, it wouldn't look its best because my desktop inkjet printer really needs around 300 pixels per inch. So how do you go about changing the resolution of a printed image to 300 pixels per inch in this dialog box? The first step is to make sure that the resample box is unchecked. Because if we're just changing the resolution, we probably don't want to change the total number of pixels in the file. And that's what resample does. So let's say that we want the total number of pixels in the file to remain at 1800 by 1200. We just want to reallocate them into groups of 300 rather than groups of 100. So what I'm going to do is type 300 in the resolution field. Spoiler alert, when I do that, the number of inches in the width and height fields will change too. So let's go ahead and type 300 here. And sure enough, the width and height have changed from 18 inches and 12 inches to 6 inches by 4 inches. And that's the size at which this image will print with the necessary resolution to make the best print. I'm done here, so I'm going to click OK. That closes the image size dialog box and takes me back out to the document window. And here I have an image ready to save and print at 6 inches by 4 inches with 300 pixels in every inch.